Ezekiel Kemboi Iwal, renowned for his post-race antiques, last weekend electrified fans at the national trials after he booked his place into the 3,000-meter steeplechase team, having finished second behind Bremen Kipruto. Less than five days later, Kimboi was in the headlines yet again for all the wrong reasons as he was charged in an Eldoret court for allegedly stabbing 26-year-old Anjeri Otieno. Kimboi gave his own version of events, claiming that the lady had been part of a gang that had tried to rob him at an entertainment spot in Eldoret. This series of events are what has cast doubt on the 2004 gold medalist's Olympic aspirations, despite being charged and released, given that the United Kingdom has strict immigration rules regarding visitors who are facing criminal charges. We are aware uh, on, on the restrictions that the United Kingdom imposes on any person, not, not any person who is involved in any human rights issue. As National Olympic Committee, uh, we are still consulting. Kemboi, like the rest of the Kenyan team, will be accredited by the London Olympics and Paralympics Games Organizing Committee, which effectively rules out the issue of acquiring a visa. Uh, the country that is hosting the Games, and especially the Olympic Games, do not have right of denying uh, a participant who has been uh, formally appointed by uh, their respective countries to participate in the Olympic Games. And that Nonetheless, NOC has sent one of its officials to ascertain the facts surrounding Kemboi's case before making their decision next week ahead of the departure of the first batch of the Kenyan team. Constitutionally, is, 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 is innocent until he has been proven guilty. So I have a different fashion of what transpired, but I don't want to disclose that because it may jeopardize uh, the course of the investigation. The Olympic Games begin on the 27th of July. Bernard Dong for Citizen Week.